okay you can go with multiple other functions but not the you should not keep in only one function first as today we have seen how to create a function right we'll see what are all the different available functions here first i'll try to take a small example for functions functions in task script okay. here i'll try to write a small script i to close the script here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write my function how to write a function using the function keyword okay with the function name what is the function name anything but it should be relevant to it i'm going to give it as uh, alert function okay now what i'm going to do here you can do anything here alert of something you can alert welcome to functions let's okay, save now we'll try to execute this open with live server what is happening okay Okay, do you see anything here? No, sir. It's not Why? Because I did not give it the uh, parameter. Which parameter? Alert function, sir. Huh? Alert, function. alert function. Okay. Yes. Here. Okay. Okay. Here I will give alert function. Okay. Here invoking the function. What do I call? invoking the function here we, we call it now see once we call the function it is executing so that's this week here whatever we get here we call it as parameter yes, here sir. we call it as argument okay first next the, we, we need to call a function always now we try to see function what is a function function to execute set of statements okay. now different types of functions what are all the different types of functions we have function power, function power. Declaration. declaration function declaration function, function. Return. or return <coughs> function with parameters function with parameters function without parameters function with The default parameter, default parameter, anonymous function, <coughs> self invoking, and function expression. Next. <coughs> Function next. That's it. A callback function. A nested function. Records you function. Okay. These are all the different types of functions we have. Okay. 
now we'll try to understand what is uh, one by one we'll try to understand that okay this is by default the small example for the, the function declaration okay now i'll what i'm going to do is i'll just go with another function i'll just comment this <coughs> function declaration okay next we have function with parameter function with parameter so what i'm going to do is i'll take an example mm, i'll take some example and i'll try to execute it like i'll uh, calculate some number or percentage okay calculate is my function name okay this calculate is going to be my function name understood next what are the things we are going to have inside this i'll have two parameters to be passed amount okay and i'll also expect some how much percentage to be taken percentage okay now again what i'm going to do is here uh, we can have the calculation we need to call the function right how to call the function calculate amount i'll give some 100 comma percentage okay some 20 per 20 percent now we need to write some formula for it and we also have function with a written statement written statement okay next here we'll try to write the formula written i gonna return it what i gonna return i gonna return total amount total amount is equals to now amount next how what is what is the formula for percentage amount plus uh amount plus amount into amount into what is the discount percentage this will try to take it as discount percentage discount percentage percentage divided by 100 right and they go okay now control check that when it comes to this written statement okay we don't see anything here okay now what is happening see what is the value here uh, of amount here 100 and what is the discount percentage 20 okay next return is equals to total amount is this is like just the formula the basic math okay next if you are returning something okay when this return statement to be used in a sense if you return this statement uh, the next if you have some statements here next to it it will not going to execute return in a sense either it should be at the end or it should be like it should be at the end and also when you are returning something you should it should be captured the written statement should be captured captured in the sense you should be uh building some up uh, you should be showing somewhere or else i'll gonna give console dot log off okay i'm gonna say this and if you try to see you're getting some value okay next 
not the plus minus here yeah it's going to be eight. understood how it is happening see either you can alert this or you can also write document dot write what is this document dot write is going to do is going to show in the page okay <coughs> what is happening no what from the beginning line number like from this things ओके now you see what is happening okay this is just what, what are all the functions we have called here we have called many functions here right this is like this is like normal declaration function function with parameters okay this is function with parameters parameters in the sense we are passing some parameters here right this we call it as function with parameters and the function with the written statement Okay, function with written statement. This is function with written statement. This is one of the function. I was involving all the functions, a few functions. Okay, next I'll involve function with the default parameter as well. Okay, for this percentage, what I will do? I'll give some default percentage. Okay, for some products, if you have think that you have some uh, the same uh, percentage, you need to discount of the same percent. in that cases this function with the default percentage is going to apply right now and i going to take one more thing i'll call multiple times the function will be called multiple times okay now i will not pass i'll pass something like uh, 10% now if you try to check i'll console dot log will console it. Okay, you try to see what is happening. Ten percent in the sense is going to have ninety. Okay, um, when it comes to if I haven't passed anything, then what is the case? Okay, if you are passing some parameter, okay, this is going to take high priority. Okay, if even though if it is having default parameter, whatever the value you are passing here, it is going to take priority. okay if you are not passing any value then the default parameter comes into picture and it is going to apply understood here we don't we have 20 so that it is going to apply 20 if you are not passing this 20 then uh, so any value it is going to take this 20 default parameter okay next i will not pass this both the things then what is the case what will be the output what do you think the output is nothing it will not display anything no see it is going to be nan nan in the sense not a number okay see what exactly when you call this particular function what it is going to do it is going to execute this right see it goes here it goes to total amount and it goes to amount it checks the parameter if there is any av av uh, value available there is no value available then what it is going to do it is going to if no value is available it is going to be undefined okay here also the second value no defined here also no defined undefined if you find undefined somewhere okay it is going to return it is considered it as a number And it is to return nan nan in the sense not a number. Try to remember these things. Okay. 
equal to uh, this one percentage. Yeah. See, we are passing values here, right? If if you are not passing, okay, this value is going to consider. If you pass some value, then this value is going to consider. Okay. Now, what is the value of discount percentage? Forty. Forty. If I was, I haven't passed forty, then what will be the value? I haven't passed forty. Twenty will be taken. I haven't passed like this. Now, the first value is going to be taken by this amount, and the next value is not that in the sense. It is going to take default parameter. Here also, if I haven't passed, then what will be the output? Default. Default. Nan. Now only I told you. Okay. See, it is going to have hundred. Minus hundred. Now this doesn't have any value. Undefined. It is going to return undefined. Undefined in no sense. It is going to have. It is going to return nan. Here it is. Like I was talking about this function, this column, not that column. Okay, and also you can call multiple times. So you can call the function multiple times. See here, I was calling three times. Okay. Sixty, nine, and eighty. Simple. This we call it as function with parameters. This we call it as function with default parameter. Okay. If you are not passing default value, then we will call it as function with parameters. If you are passing some value, function with default parameters. We have covered this right. Without parameters, in a sense, this is without parameters, right? Next, uh, what do we have? Function with default parameter also done. Function with return statement also done. This is a return statement. Okay. Try to remember return in uh, when you are having return statement, you need to capture it, or else it is not going to. You cannot see the output. Calculate. Now you cannot see this output because it is not captured. Okay. Next, what do we have? Next, we have function with return. It is also an anonymous function. I don't know what is anonymous function. Anonymous. What is the general meaning of anonymous? Hmm. Unknown. unknown okay anonymous in a sense unknown like uh, without name anonymous in a sense without name the same thing here as well the function without name is called anonymous function simple okay we'll take an example for it here uh, in html here here we are in html right here I'll try to take some button. Okay. Uh, click here. Okay. We have this click here button. Now I'm clicking on this. Is there anything happening? Now we'll try to do something. Okay. Here I'll give some class is equals to some class thing like btn okay here i'm gonna write some script to it oh, where is it here here i'll write it i'll just remove this okay where okay what i'll do or else document what is this document document in the sense our document document dot get element by class name okay class name in the sense class name you can take class name if you are using class name here you can use class if you are using id you can use id get element by now what is the thing element by id so what is id btn okay dot we need to 
add an event listener add event listener we are attaching an event to it okay events we'll be talking in the upcoming classes no worries now we need to which event is this click given okay click next uh, we need to do something here what we are going to do okay we can do this in multiple ways we can give your uh, function here okay or else you can write a function here itself like see here function of here uh, what i can give console dot log of something like anonymous function simple okay i will try to execute this is the function triggered yeah if i click on this the function is going to trigger see okay this here also we have written the function right have we written any name to it is there any name no. this we call it as an anonymous function the function without name is call it as anonymous function okay next see what are all the things happening here document first we are getting see here see here also you can uh, you can write on click on click is equals to you can write the function name here i'll write a function here function of uh, something like any name uh click function click function okay i'll write something here console.log of click function okay we need to call the function right i'll what i'll do is i'll just copy this function name and i'll be triggering it here by using on click okay simple now if i reload the page and if i click which function is triggering both the functions are triggering okay on clicking on it this also is going to trigger this is also trigger because we have written function for it cannot read add event listener okay because it it doesn't know what is this add event listener now it is going to be fine okay now on click only the click function is triggered okay next here when you are writing here you should use on click okay when you are attaching an event to it then just click okay which one a click is an event or on click is an event hmm click is an event not on click okay on click is a method okay click is an event okay next we are attaching and this is one way of writing your function okay this is like the normal way if see always the recommended way is to go with this way okay because here what you are doing you are involving javascript in html right but if this is the case is there any javascript that is where soc principle comes into picture that means suppression of concern okay javascript should be in javascript file html should be in html file css should be in css file okay understood you know how to uh, use uh, write javascript also right in external file next i'll just remove this as well now 
on clicking on it. It is going to come anonymous function. Just give me a second. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we are in the, uh, we have written this. Now what you can do is uh, from function to function. Okay, I'll just remove this. Okay. Here I'll write uh, some other function. Function. Anonymous function. Okay. Now, what you need to do? You're gonna write like console dot log of anonymous function. Okay. Next here. What you need, you're gonna write just pass this anonymous function. Okay, here you no need to pass the brackets. Okay, understood. Now you will try to. I'll just reload the page. One click anonymous function. If you are going to pass this for brackets, that you should not pass it. It is not triggering. Okay. When you are calling, when you are attaching an event listener, in that cases, you no need to pass the flower brackets. Understood? Next. We'll have to take an example. Okay. Uh, any small example? Like, uh, Okay, let that be. We'll try to take uh, next self invoking function. Okay, what is this self invoking function? Okay, you understood this, right? Any doubts in this? If you have any doubts, uh, let me know. Check it once again. Having any? All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'll give one more example for um, yes, self. I mean, uh, anonymous function. Okay, function. Uh, Okay, that I will be like the same example will cover, like I'll cover in expression. That is also like similar to so no issues. Self invoking function. Okay, what is this self invoking function? Okay, it's nothing but the function calling itself is called as self invoking function. See. self-invoking function. Now, how to call this? Is this going to call automatically? No, right? It is not calling itself. Now, it's going to call itself. How it is going to call itself? That is what, see, is there any, is there any name to it? To the function? No, no? Uh, but we are calling the function. Like using just the brackets. Okay. 
self invoking function is nothing but which is going to call itself is called as self invoking function next what do we have we have function expression what is function expression if you try to see which is going to dictate inside a function Uh, and this is anonymous function function expression Here, what I'm going to do is where, okay, uh, exp function, okay, expression function, okay, is equals to, I will, I'll be storing a function inside a variable, okay, function uh, here. I'll give console dot log of exp function. Save. And if you try to reload, how to call this particular function now? Okay, this is an anonymous anonymous function, right? The function without name. Is there any name to this function? This we call it as anonymous function right now how we are going to call this particular function okay exp function with the variable name this we call it as function expression and open bracket and close brackets simple exp function and you can also pass if you want to pass some arguments here parameters like uh, value one, value two. Okay, value two. You're gonna pass some values here, like ten comma twenty. Okay, I'll return something here. Return what value? One plus value two. Okay. Now is it going to return? Now what will be the output? What will be the output? Thirty. Is it true? Sure. No. Why? What is missing? Nothing is coming. What I told you, when you are returning something, you should capture it. Okay, if you are not capturing it, it is not going to come. Alert. And I'll keep this inside the alert. Okay, now you can see that. Let's see. This we call it as function expression. Okay. Very simple. No need to see here. We what the fun thing we, function expression in a sense. We are passing the function, complete function. We are assigning a function to a variable. That is what happening, right? Before what we are doing, we are just like for variable, we are just storing some value, 10, 20 or some string. Now, we have fun complete function itself, we are assigning as a value. Okay. How to call that in a sense? 
into the variable name and the brackets. Okay, not the function name. Next, what do we have? We have callback function. This we'll try to like, we have already seen. Okay, and in the upcoming class also, we are going to see this. Callback function is nothing but uh, after doing something, we are calling something. See here, here, after clicking on this, we are triggering this function, right? This is a callback function. Okay, on clicking on this, we are doing this. This we call it as callback function. Okay, this callback function is very, very important. Okay, but in the upcoming classes also, we are going to call this. Okay, no work. Next, we have nested function. What is nested function? Function with function. Huh? This. Function inside another function, we call it as nested function. See, here only like I can show you, like console.log is also a function. Okay, alert is also a function. Alert is also, alert is a function. Okay, you can just, this is a function. This is also a function, right? This is also a function, right? This expression function is also a function. Function inside another function. It's called as an nested function. Okay. And I can give one more example. Like function, like general example. Nested function. Okay. Function thing that we are having function A. Okay. Next, we have one more function. Function B. Inside this function. Okay. Now, how to, how, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to console dot log of uh, this is function B. Okay. Here, console dot log of function. This is function A. Okay, what is happening? Understanding? Hmm? Now, how to call this particular function? I will call A function here and also B function here. What do you think the output is? We are printing the function A, right? This is function A is printing. But what is function B? Okay. It is not understanding what is this function B. Okay. That is what? Uncaught reference error. B is not defined. Not defined in the sense. It is not at all declared. Okay, it doesn't know what is this. Because it is inside this particular A function. Okay. If you want to execute this function, this should be called inside this particular function itself. A function should be called. Okay. Now it is going to execute. This is function B and this is function A. Okay. Just a minute. Hello. Good morning. Okay. 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 Huh, huh, huh. Uh, um, Andy. Okay. Then, oh, me, Peter. Jay Chandra, na. Oh, na. Sir, then, oh, call class, na, na. Then, oh, one hour, la, Jason. Na, na, call, Jason. Okay, thank you.
Next, what do we have? Understood? This should be if the function is this, we call it as nested function. Function inside another function. We call it as nested function. Another function. And also, if you are to understand this nested function, you should know. Okay, you should know the scope also. What is scope? What is local scope? What is block scope? Okay, a few things to you need to understand. Okay, and where it is accessible. See, is this accessible out of it here? No. Why is that? Outside the function, but what is happening behind the scenes? Huh? Not defined. Why it is coming? Not defined. Okay, that is where scope comes into picture. Okay, I'll just give you an overview. Okay, like just how the scope is going to work. Scope in the sense, scope is nothing but where the variables or the functions or the methods is accessible. Where can I access? Okay. And what is block scope? Local scope in a sense, which is accessible locally. Block scope in a sense, only for lock, uh, for that particular block. Okay. Uh, th this is a block layer. This is a block. That means only those people will know will be inside. Okay. Uh, they cannot access everything outside. Yeah. Now I'll just give you the description for it for the, the uh, theory part so that you'll just understand it. Scope, I'll just give it here. Scope here, accessibility of an identifier. So I can we can tell it as accessibility is accessible. Accessibility of an identifier. Okay. Next, when it comes to what are all the different ways we have, we have global. Global. What is global? Which can be accessible everywhere inside the page. The identifier. That can be accessible with within function or within a page. This we call it as global. Next, when it comes to local, an identifier. That can be accessible only with within the function. Okay. Next we have block level. When it comes to block level, an identifier. That can be the accessible within the block, right? This is about a uh, block. Next, we have super global. Okay. What is this super global information? That can be accessible throughout throughout our application. That we call it as super global. Okay. Understood? Any doubts? Identifier 
within see, block level block level means only within the function fun see when it comes to local in the sense and identify that can be accessible within the function function in the sense within this function only whatever it is available within this function only that will be available okay block in the sense not only function okay this is also a block okay block in the sense this will be accessible only within this out of this it will not be available okay from the interface Code yeah, enter code within this only it is going to be accessible. Out of this also it will not be accessible. Okay. So you think let uh, let this block level let uh, a or uh, price is equals to. Then, okay, this, this is going to access out of the block. Okay, but for example, I was telling and not long of price. Okay. The price is not defined. See, he, it is a block level. Let also is a block level. Is this let? Uh, can you is it accessing outside? This we call it as let is a block level. Uh, a variable okay but see if i give where where is it now you can get the value you're getting the value right in line number 10 uh we are 66 line number 66 here the value is 10 okay this we call it as block level block level in the sense which is accessible within the block see i'll just give the let only let then error, again error now what I'm going to do is, okay. this we call it as block level. Block level in the sense, within the function, within the whole, whole, in the whole function, it is going to access it. Global in the sense, globally it is going to access. Okay. Any doubts? And also, we'll try to check one more example for percent. Okay, what is a percent? It is not a function, but inside the function, we'll try to check this. Okay, function of get calculation. Okay, what I'll do is see. I'll see. I'll pass like the same for my amount and percentage. I'm going to give the percentage also. Okay, next, what you're going to do here? Hmm? You can have some value and also uh, I'll just like generally explain that. Let uh, value one is equals to prompt of prompt okay what it what is the meaning of prompt hmm? it is nothing but o m Okay, what is this prompt is going to do in the sense? I will give some values. Okay, what is this prompt is going to do in the sense? It is going to get some value. So if you want to get like an alert, if you want to get some value, then it is going to give you this prompt. Now what I'll do is uh, here, whatever you enter in the first parameter, it is going to get it here. The second parameter is nothing but the value, whatever uh, you get the value, this we call it as the second parameter. Next, we can also pass some default parameter. So it is going to have default value. Okay. Now, if you want to capture this particular, uh, what do we call value inside this 
prompt. Just give me a minute. Uh, how to get the value? Console dot log of value one. See what it is returning? It is it returning nothing. Okay. Now I will try to enter some value. This is twelve. Okay. Uh, okay. I just need to update the next batch. Okay. That is it for the day, guys. Okay, practice all the functions. Okay, and tomorrow we'll try to talk about recursive function. Okay, practice all the things. If you have any doubts, let me know. Thank you.